Thanks so much, Tyler. I'm so excited now to be joined by Asha Kutcher and Effie Epstein, both general partners um, at Sound Ventures. You just made this big announcement, $240 million focused on a uh, AI, and you announced three key investments, including OpenAI from ChatGPT, as well as Stability and Anthropic, two other big players in this space. What is your thesis and what's your plan for this fund? Do you want to? Yes, to absolutely, share? of course. So for this uh, fund, it is really focused on the foundational model layer within AI. We believe there will really only be a handful of players that ultimately emerge, because so few companies have first the technical talent, the capital, and the access to data and compute. Now, Sound sits in a very unique space because we're actually able to invest in competitors. That is very rare within venture. So we're essentially taking an ecosystem bet with our investments in open stability and anthropic to say, we know a model will emerge. We want to be in all the players that are likely to be that winner. So, no, Ashton, you were on my panel here at Milken yesterday. There was a lot of talk about the potential for AI, but here there's also a lot of talk about the valuations being very high. Are you concerned about the valuations being high at this point? Um, so, I think that this looks a lot more like um, Web 1 when you had Google, Yahoo, Ask Jeeves, and 12 other search engines. I think a lot of these large transformer models are very reinforcing. Um, and, and, and I think the likelihood that one, two, or maybe three of these models become the pervasive models is really, really high. And with that being the case, um, I think that there's not really a valuation that you would look at that you would, you, you would bulk at relative to revenues. I mean, they, these, none of these companies have really even started capturing revenues yet. And so everybody likes to mark a company relative to its revenues or, 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 or mark a company relative to its public comp. Um, these companies, A, have no public comp because we've never seen anything like this before. I think every company in the next five, 10 years is going to be an AI company in the same way that uh, if, you, if you look at commerce and you were a commerce company 10 years ago and you weren't invested in e-commerce as a solution, you're probably not a company anymore. So, so I think every company is about to become an AI model. And if there are two to three companies that are at the base layer or the foundational layer of that, um, the, 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 the TAM is so large that, that marking the value of a company based on anything other than the potential would be wrong. Now, yeah, notably, in the, in the last mobile wave of the internet, you invested in Uber, Airbnb, Spotify, among many others, which really turned out to be applications that defined that sort of mobile era of the internet. I'm curious how you see this era of AI evolving, especially from a consumer standpoint. I think we're looking at the exact same kind of platform shift that we saw in 2008, 2009, which was interesting because we were actually coming out of a recessionary environment there were a lot of people that got wiped out in like the late Web 1.0, you know, scenario, and and all of a sudden there were these this extraordinary emergence of this new platform that enabled things that were never possible before. We all had GPS in our pocket, we all had cameras in our pocket, and we were all able to build companies that never could have existed before. The same thing is happening now. We're in a, going into a recessionary environment. Um, we have a massive platform shift taking place. If the last wave of software disrupted unskilled labor, this wave is going to disrupt skilled labor. And it's happening right now, which actually is a beautiful thing because it democratizes access to skills that people, have. not everybody can get a hold of a lawyer at an affordable price today. Not everybody can get a hold of a doctor at an affordable price, a pediatrician, a tutor. These skills and, and that intelligence layer is now being democratized, which is going to unleash brand new business models that never existed before. And we're only at the very beginning of that right now. And this next wave of applications is going to be massive. And I think it's happening right now, right before our very eyes.